So I'm sure that all of us here come from companies that have amazing staff with incredible knowledge and experiences. And I'm sure that you have, as we have, wondered how to make the most of the knowledge and the experiences that our staff bring. So Forecaster is a new application that we've developed to do that. <laughs> thinking, discussing, and analyzing, sometimes we make bad decisions. But the thing is, we want to make good and weighted decisions, and we found the solution. So we developed Forecaster, a crowdcasting application to help us make better decisions. A simple tool that would help you make the right decisions? Sounds too good to be true? Yeah, exactly, but we did it. Here it is, our Baltic Forecaster. We call it Win-Win Fun Technology because it accomplishes big and very essential goals. It brings huge amount of competencies into our decision-making process. It takes tough involvement and transparency to unprecedented levels. And simply because it's fun. Our Baltic Forecaster is like a prediction game where you can get prizes for the most accurate predictions. So basically it's uh, like a monopoly for employees. The forecaster works as a micro market. Every staff member is like a shareholder and everyone can initiate his own projects and ideas there. After you have shared your idea, you can see the market's reaction to it. You will see if people are buying it. The forecaster enables management to pitch ideas in a simple format and the staff to get involved. You have an idea or have comments on some other initiatives? Go ahead. Just a few clicks and everybody in the company will know about it. The forecaster has not yet been rolled out completely, but it has already demonstrated ultimate performance. It has brought several hundred people into our decision-making process. It has already improved our investment decisions and it has the potential to save our company a lot of money. The forecaster brings people together for better decisions. So this is a brand new tool. It was tested over five months and then unrolled to the entire staff at Air Baltic, which is uh, over 1,200 people at the beginning of, beginning of October. In this last month, we've seen 14 projects submitted to Forecaster, and each of those projects has generated about between 70 and 100 responses in the form of either buying them a share, selling them a shares, or, or commenting, which means that we've received about 2,500 predictions. The trial period showed that getting feedback from staff in this way has the potential to improve our management decisions by 10%, which in turn means that we have the potential to save up to 1 million euros per year because of the better quality of management decisions made as a result of tapping into the knowledge of our staff. Um, as a company that's geared towards profitability, we're of course very happy about this sort of project which helps us reach that goal in a completely new way. Um, and lastly, I just want to say that Anything can be a forecaster project. It can be something bigger, something smaller. Um, in this case, we used this example of submitting forecaster in this category to tell our staff about it and see how they responded. So they did not like the idea as far as they did. Initially, they thought it was a not the best idea, but then, as you can see, it's gone up in the end. <laughs> Thank you. convince the management more that they are making bad decisions. Uh, the idea actually came from management. It came from one of the members of our board, uh, who you saw at the beginning of uh, the video, we told, he's our chief financial officer. It was his idea. Um, he said, you know, even with the experiences that he's had, he has made bad decisions, and he wants to make better decisions, and this was actually his, his idea, so it came from came from top management. And now we are employees are very satisfied with the business decisions of the management board. Is it so? <laughs> um, they got more happy. Okay. I think more happy, happy because it's, it, it's definitely improved transparency. I mean, if, if in one month we've had 40 projects submitted, these are 40 projects that otherwise staff may not have known about if they weren't directly involved with them. The take-up of the forecaster also shows that in the first month 
almost a quarter of staff have joined it. And it's only been open to everyone for a month, which, which is pretty good statistics. And you said there is one month of October and 40 projects, that means two projects per day. What will be the limit that you plan that uh, your employees will dig in, in projects where they are not directly uh, decision makers? Well, it depends on each user. So if there are almost 300 users, some of them are more active than others. Um, the way that it works is that notifications come to your email if you've joined Forecaster to say there's a new project. So if that's not a project that you're overly interested in, you can just ignore the email. Um, what we've seen in the trial period is that the amount of time that people generally spend on Forecaster a day is about five minutes, because it's presented in a very short way. So it doesn't take up a huge amount of staff time to have a look. But equally, if it's a project they're not interested in, they don't have to look at it. Which person and which position is uh, the most active in, in this project? So, no, actually, um, we just closed. So every month there's a chance to win prizes. Um, for four, four different people can win prizes. The top three predictors, so who have made the most accurate predictions for the project, and somebody who's made the best or most insightful or most interesting comment. And the winner in the first month was actually a guy called Anzis who works in our um, operations control center. So he works with looking at where flights go to where, like, considering what the weather patterns are and things like that. So he's not. He's not in marketing or communications or anything at all, but he's found this tool very useful and has also proven that his predictions are very accurate. <laughs> Could you open any project, cancel maybe or, or change? Sorry? Could you open <coughs> any project, uh, cancel uh, or change? It, it was this Yes, so any employees can suggest projects for it to go onto the forecaster site. Yes. And uh, there's a termination date for each of the projects. So you can see how it develops over time. And then, of course, when the expiry date for the project is, you see if it's been successful or not. And there, there are longer term projects, there are shorter term projects. There's ones that last a week, ones that last several months. So you can specify the project. Oh, the project. So it can be anything. So for example, there's the one on the last slide where we, suggest, where we put up the project about, about bringing Forecaster here. So, so, so shortlisting it for a prize to see how people react to it. And that is a very short project because we're here today and we only submitted it a few days ago. Um, for lighter touch projects, there's also one about our Christmas party, about whether or not it'll be successful. That one's happening over several months because our Christmas party is at the end of December. What about the business projects? There, there are multiple possible business projects, yes. Ones to do with new projects, ones to do with, there's a, for example, we recently launched uh, two new routes, one from Vilnius to Amsterdam and one from Tallinn to Paris. Both of those were on there um, before they were launched to see how the staff respond to them. In audience, question. What will be the engagement level of employees you will be happy about after you know, a year? Well, uh, we're already happy with the take up so far. So 300 staff members out of 1,200, that's pretty good. I think we'd, we'd be happier if it was about 50%. Thank you.